What's good, agents? It's your boy, Agent Orange Shoes here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, week, month, anything at all. And welcome back to the Pokemon Supernova Sun Randomizer. If you guys remember in the last episode, Pokemon Refresh was our best friend the entire episode, getting us out of status conditions, uh, saving us from fainting. The extra experience was huge. Just, it was a huge, huge help for the entire episode up until our latest rival battle with Howe, which we managed to win by the absolute narrowest skin of our teeth. But we are now here. We are just outside Paniola Ranch, and we are going to head on up north to there, see exactly what we can find, and maybe we'll get just a little bit closer to our next trial. But before we get rolling, as always, you guys know the deal. If you are enjoying the series and the content I'm putting out, please, I do ask you to consider leaving a like on this video, I'll leaving any comments down below, letting me know what you guys like and don't like so I can improve on for future episodes. And most importantly, if you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out some of my content. I do really appreciate it. Uh, if you like what you see, or maybe even if you don't and you just want to help me out, which would be absolutely fantastic, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button down below as well as that tiny little bell icon so that we can stay up to date on everything that goes up here on the channel. But now that that battle is all over, before we go anywhere, I need to stock up on healing items. I don't think I have anything actually left from that battle. No, no, I take that back. I lied. I have one super potion left over from that battle. One single super potion. So I'm going to grab up some of those, some restoration wings, and I don't think there's too much else I need to worry about. I'm going to grab some max repels just in case because I don't want to uh, I don't want to have to deal with running into a whole bunch of wild Pokemon and killing time on the episode. So let's make our way on up. And what's, uh, what's this guy waving at? Especially this late at night. I wonder. Everyone who works on the ranch loves a good Pokemon battle. Apparently not you, though, bud. Apparently not you. But I think this lady would like to battle. Eat well, sleep well, and it's time for a proper battle. Yes, indeed, it is. Lovely old, uh, the old lady. Madame Elizabeth. Oh, pardon me. My sincerest apologies. I have forgotten just how, uh, just how revered and refined they are in this part of the world. My sincerest apologies. We are up against a carbink, though. Carbink, and that could, uh, could potentially be dangerous. I don't really know why it would be all too dangerous, but I will go ahead and dish out as much damage as I can. I'm expecting, uh, no, never mind. I was expecting some screams to appear expecting it to utilize light screen and reflect but apparently it does not and that will do fine by me so now that I'm oh there it is there it is just as I stop using the voice there's the light screen what's gonna let, let's just let's just keep going for Giga Drain forget about it forget about it that's enough take out carbine putting Giga Drain on this was a fan oh it was a crit that's why nonetheless putting Giga Drain on no snacks was a fan freaking tastic idea. Enough of a fantastic idea to get to level 31. I have not used a Galvantion in a long time, and I am enjoying myself. I am enjoying using it. That is for sure. Uh, I enjoy maybe a little bit less this Weeping Bell, though. Maybe just a little bit. How much is Bug Bite going to do? Not anywhere near enough. Not even close to enough. And we are going to get toxic for our trouble. Which is great. Uh, Black Sludge on it to restore some HP, but I have a real easy answer here, and that actually would have been the safest to switch out to in the first place, because it wouldn't have eaten any poison, and that is Big Booty Judy! Look at this girl. Look at that. So good. So good. I could not have asked for a better totem Pokemon, honestly. Like, uh, it, it's great, and I can, uh, I can actually put this to use just later on because right now in um right now in the penumbra moon playthrough as it is going on uh, i've been looking around i'm trying to find a female salon just because i really want to lazzle and i can't find one for the life of me their encounter rate is just a killer so instead i will very very gladly get my hands on a totem version 
of Salazzle. It's just, it's fantastic. Fantastic. She's a great, great Pokemon. A great Pokemon overall. Just look at fast, hits hard, and that's about all you need. Just give it a Focus Ash, and I think you're pretty good. And we are all good with this battle right now. Everyone gains some good experience. The other boy grows to level 31. And we're uh we're actually, I think, gonna do uh I think we're actually gonna get that boy evolved in pretty short order here, which is nice. I will take that. And Polion is amazing. It's in like it's in like my top three of best just best starters, period. Just uh, just on their own. It's amazing. Oh, you gotta be a trial goer, right? Well, you got a good sense of timing. Him's actually here now. So come on. Well, I guess I know where we are head off to, and we are gonna, we are gonna do some, uh, some moo moo milking up here on the ranch. It looks like. Oh, oh, look at it! Look at how excited! It's so happy! So happy! Oh, look! Look, it's Malo. Hi, Malo. I'm totally ready to do your voice. I'm totally ready to do your voice. Thanks, stop that! Look, look at look at how hype they're getting. These are the hypest cows in all the land. I love it. Oh, by the way, so I was lucky enough to win you a favor. What is that favor? We got Stoutlin registered to our ride pager. See, Stoutlin can step out of the house for you and we came and see him. When you ride Stoutlin, there's video stuff to search for the little bot. Get out there and try it. all kinds of stuff like ready for you to find it. And Stoutlin will bark loud and loud and close to get some out of pain in the ground. Well, I don't think that's going to matter a whole lot, considering that, well, there's no audio. So, sorry, guys. Sorry. You got the matter of fun coming out of Brooklyn Hill for the last of Thursday. I don't know if you say bye bye. She is such a spaz. Such a spaz. So, I know there are some items hidden around here. I know there are. And, oh, there's a, uh,. There's a totem sticker back there. I'll actually have to go back and get that in both games then. But I know there are items hidden around here. And one of those is a Moo Moo Milk, which I'm okay with. I will gladly take a free uh, 100 HP recovery item. That is fantastic. What else do we have around here? I was close to something over here. I was close to something. Is it over here? Yes, it's over here. We got a repel. I will gladly use a repel around here. And do we have anything else hiding anywhere around here? I don't think we have anything else over here. Fortunately, Stoutland, when it's not Stimpy, still runs fast, which is super nice. Let's go over here. And we found a fresh water, a free super potion. Okay. Okay. Count me in for that. Uh, nothing else hidden back here, though. But otherwise, I think we're pretty a okay for the time being. So let's, uh, ooh, ooh, totem sticker, totem sticker, totem sticker. I'm gonna grab that right over here. We've got four, four damn things. Let's, uh, there's an item back here, I think. Yes, there is. There's a wild Pokemon first, and we are looking at a Butterfree. A Butterfree, y'all, none of y'all, none of y'all can honestly lie to me. If you played in the original Gen 1. If you guys played in Gen 1, none of y'all can tell me that you didn't use a Butterfree at at least one point. If you do, if you do, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna believe you. I am not going to believe you, because especially, especially in yellow, when you get confusion right as soon as it evolved, Butterfree was cash. It's actual cash as a Pokemon. You cannot tell me in all honesty, in good conscience, that you never used one. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna buy it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I will not. But unfortunately, we are not uh, we are not using one here. I actually don't think Butterfree's that bad, at least nowadays, especially with the stat buffs that it got. <gasps> it's an Oshawott. It's a little Oshawott. It's, uh, it's not quite the water starter we've got, but it's cute nonetheless, and I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, this was actually my original starter when I first played through uh, Black and White. 
this was my uh, this is my original choice and that razor shell right there that that was that was a dangerous weapon right there if I do say so no it's not uh, it's not perfect as a Pokemon I guess it's it's really not um, the the pure water type kind of pure water type kind of hurts it I think honestly that Samurott should have been the fighting type as final evolution and not um not embor so that we could have a firefighting type for three generations in a row there was absolutely no good reason for that no good reason but because it's getting me all um it's getting me all nostalgic oshawott is going to be nicknamed flashback i'm gonna get that hair off my screen and it is a naive nature i am running into these a lot lately i'm running into a lot of uh naive Pokemon, which I mean, I don't have a problem with that. It's uh, it's speed up, which is great. That's uh, that that works for me, I guess. It's not um, it's certainly not the worst thing I've ever seen. It's not like that uh, not like that lineup of pseudo Wudo over there. He pseudo Wudo seemed kind of down ever since Lana beat them, but they're flogging the path now. No one can go through. Seems like they're so petrified of Lana now. They don't even want to see another Wantarium Z after she smacked down on him with that water type Z power of hers. I would probably be terrified if I were one of them too. I mean, unless of course, you know, you had, uh, unless you had Sturdy. I mean, I don't think it'd be too bad if you had Sturdy, because you'd be able to, uh, you'd be able to take that. And there we go. There we go. I forgot that we found that here. We have found the amulet coin. Which, oh my God. I, I love, love this item right now. The amulet coin is fantastic so big booty judy gonna be gonna be rocking around with a booty and rocking around with that money booster right now we'll put it to use right now against this guy all right try go have a look at my kid i don't think you should be holding kids in pokeballs i mean unless you've got something that you want to tell me do you do you do you have something to tell me so that i can maybe uh i don't know Anonymously tell the FBI. Do you have some of that Pokeball? It's not supposed to be there. All right. Well, that was uh, close. <laughs> Man, I lost again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's um. It's that guy. You guys, remember Shadow the Hedgehog? Remember that game? Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it's actually not that bad of a game at all. But this is the living embodiment of that. And you can't tell me I'm wrong. You honestly can't. Are you even taking this seriously? <laughs> I am, <laughs> so seriously. I'm seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it? You can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it, which clearly you haven't. Whoa! Hey, Flamp! <laughs> this guy is plenty scary! <laughs> hmm. Your Flamp? Yep. That's me, alright. Hmm. Not very cautious. Even some Pokemon have a better sense of self preservation than you apparently do. I'm Gladian. Me and my partner, Type Null, train to get stronger. We have to get stronger! Though most of our time these days goes to working for Team Skull as their muscle. Hmm. Battle me. I won't take no for an answer. You know, I wish there had actually been a dialogue option right there. I wish there had been a physical dialogue option that had yes and yes. That should have been what happened there. Mm. Let's put the hand up. You gotta do it right. Don't mess with Gladian. Ooh. Ooh. That's a... Uh, that's a dangerous lead right there. Hmm. Toxic. Honestly, though, what does Toxicroak do to me? What does Toxicroak actually do? I don't think it does much, but likewise, I don't think I do much back. You're, let's see, poison fighting. I don't have anything to really hit you super effectively with. Um, I guess we'll just see how. Oh, never mind. Never mind, I lied. It has um it has bounce. It's dangerous. Do I have anything that resists this? 
I don't think I have anything that actually resists this. I don't, honest, I don't, uh, 57 defense, 53, 58, 105, but it's super effective. Huh. I don't think, uh, I don't know. You know what? Let's go out into our bulkiest option. Let's go. We're going to go out to Kale. And we're going to try and take this hit. It's not stab, which is fine. Uh, guess that's, uh, guess that's what we get. It's about what we get. Uh, no pressure. No pressure from the Toxicroak. No pressure. Uh, I'm just going to try and get off some damage. Oh. Oh. No wonder it had bounce. That's the Zoroark. That's the Zoroark. That's uh <laughs> that's a no no no. That's that's a not uh that's not Toxic Rogue. Not a Toxic Rogue. That's uh yeah. And we're uh that was that was a crit. That was a crit. That was good. That was pretty good. Okay. Well, I think uh, I think I'm about done messing around here. We're gonna nasty plot up. We are gonna we are gonna do everything we have to to just blow these back, except for when you have rock slide. You uh, huh? I actually didn't do anywhere near as much as I was anticipating. So I think I can wait. Um. I think I can actually try for dodges here. I can possibly, possibly try. I mean, I'm at plus two, but this thing has such good defenses. This thing has, oh man. All right, all right, I need to hope for a dodge. Can you dodge here? Can you dodge here? This actually puts me in a. This actually puts me in a little bit of a pinch. Even a plus two. I don't think Flame Burst is gonna kill, but I don't think I have a choice. I don't think I have any choice but to go for. Oh, mm, that's the miss I was looking for. That is the miss that I was looking for. Let's see, can I KO with this Flame Burst? Yes, we can. Oh. Big Booty Judy, you putting in work. You putting in serious work. Am I gonna switch? No, I'm not gonna switch right now. I'm not going to. Especially not against a, uh, not against a Metang. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, are you gonna have something like Earthquake? Is that what you're gonna have? No, you'll have close enough. You'll have Bulldoze. And that's gonna KO. This was a regret. This was, uh, this is very much a regret. Whew. Gladian's, uh, Gladian is one tough boy. That is for sure. Um, I don't even know. Let's go bite, I guess. How much is that going to do? Like nothing. Like nothing. But the flinch is nice. The flinch is very, very nice. Let's take a look. I uh, just, I think I just kind of have to poke away. Going for gravity. Is it gonna be gra? Is it gravity bulldoze? Is that the plan? Why would you gravity and then go for bullet punch? That's, that's new. But I mean, I mean, I mean, I guess it works for you. It works for you. But we will get a second flinch our second flinch here Woo. oh loudness you are putting in work my friend You're putting some really nice work growing to level 33 we're gaining levels mighty fast down here this uh this experience babble no snacks to level 35 and i i have no idea what to even expect from this team that's a porygon i was not expecting a porygon i guess i'm uh Guess I'm living up to my name here, aren't I? Living up to just what I said. So I am, of course, faster. Let's see how much air cutter is gonna do. Not a whole lot. It has foul play, which is 
very strange. Really strange, but I mean, I, I guess if it works, it works. I'm gonna go for toxic now. What's what's this really gonna do to me other than other than just residual damage? I don't think there's a whole lot else that it's really gonna do. It's not gonna stop me from KOing with air cutter. It's not gonna boost foul play. It's not gonna do anything else. So I don't uh I don't I, I don't really know what he was going for with it, but alright. All right, I mean, he would have had an easier time just continuing to go for foul play. Even uh, even Gladian's AI isn't great. And it's not, but unfortunately, due to the toxic loudness will go down, maybe that was the strat all along. It very well could have been. Let's go out to the other boy, who is now the one holding the, um, who is now holding the amulet coin. Which is going to be great for us. Good sign. Going up against a scyther it's uh it's definitely gonna be a setup sweeper it's definitely gonna be what is go for here uh but we have brine now and brine is not doing a lot it's not great a dodge in the wing attack though yes please dodge in the wing attack and peck is also doing like nothing an actual nothing uh we are gonna take this one though and how much is this gonna do that is gonna do a Butt load. It's going to do a lot. I don't like that. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Work with that. Um, I don't really have anything that can switch into this wing attack, though. I don't really have anything else that can switch into this wing attack. So, I don't know. I guess... Florges? I guess... I mean, this gives me the opportunity for a free switch in now back out to uh, back out to no snacks. I think that's my safest bet right now is just to go back out to no snacks and I'm going to pitch off. And you're actually how are you actually faster? How are you actually faster? How did that do so much? That's bad. That's really, really bad. We are uh, we are a little, a little too far behind the curve right now. It's a little too far behind the curve, and that's bad news for us. Ah, uh, come on. How are you honestly faster? I uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't. I don't know what to do now, guys. I have no idea. Because the other boy... Oh! Oh! The other boy toughen it out so we don't feel sad. Thank you. Thank you. I desperately, desperately needed that. I just... I need... Uh, I need something here. And this... Uh, this is good. This is actually good right now. This gives me the opportunity to at least heal up a little bit because right now that's about all I got that's about all I got and he's toughing it out again the other boy doing the work the other boy might just be what saves us the other boy might honestly have just saved us the other boy might have just saved us. Oh, that might actually, uh, that might actually like help out a ton right now. My only concern now is what's faster? What is faster? Zoroark or Salazzle? Zoroark is base 105. Salazzle's base 117. So unless this thing is purposely speed invested in some way, we are faster. We are faster. This feels really good. Toxicroak gonna go for the bounce again. This gives us the opportunity to set up again with Nasty Plow. We can go to plus four. And after that, I think any any of his two remaining Pokemon, Zoroark and the actual Toxicroak, should go down. 
they should just go down uh that paralysis is really gonna hurt us though that is really bad i don't think i have a choice i'm gonna paralyze heal here uh it's going to u-turn which actually might have just saved us i think it might have we will definitely be faster than tox croak should have dry skin flame burst we'll get this tox croak out mm. and we are safe we are safe zoroark comes out zoroark can't outspeed zoroark goes down to flame burst and big booty judy saves the day saves the day you grow to level 35 girl you earned it you earned it Ugh. <sighs> how annoying we got uh, we got some money out of it we got at least something to work with <sighs> it's not like me to slip up like that We've got to keep fighting stronger opponents looks like i'm still not ready you want strong opponents i mean you just got one that kid there his pokemon aren't weak and sure it's fine to enjoy battling but this brat is just using that as an excuse to not try hard because he can't beat the kahuna because he can't beat hollow when he's serious <laughs> you know my grams <laughs> wait so you think i'm strong <laughs> oh look at you little gladian just a real cool guy <laughs> Oh, he got the squad all up on him. All up on him. Squad up! Guess it's no surprise homeless kid with thrown out spineless too, huh? No worries. We got the backbone to cover for you. Oh, just give it up already. Huh? Hmm. You know you can't beat me. You'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. They're good Pokemon. I like, I like how serious he is, how he's so uncaring about Team Skull. He's just, he's ambivalent as all get out. You're just some hired help. Keep around for when we need you. You aren't part of Team Skull. Not really. And you never will be. Got it? You better get it. They are back and forth savage to one another. And it is just beautiful. Just beautiful. But with that battle done, for now, that is going to do it. We'll get these revives from How, and that is going to end out this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching the latest episode of the Pokemon Supernova Sun Randomizer. I really do appreciate it. I could not do this without you guys' support, and I hope you guys are enjoying so far. In the next episode, we should be able to get up to Brooklyn Hill and actually get a trial in. But for now, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, family, everyone that you guys know. I would really appreciate it. I cannot do this without your support, and I hope that I can continue to count on that wonderful support from you guys in the future. But for now, that is going to do it. I'm Agent Orange, signing out, and we'll see you guys next time.